if I'm fixing it, I'm filming it. Well, hello everyone. On my uh, previous video, I unboxed and set up a wet tile saw. And when I was doing that, I noticed on the end of the plug of the wet tile saw, it said it recommends to plug into a uh, ground fault circuit interrupter, a GFCI it's called. Basically what that is, is anytime it senses any water or, or it wants to short out, it will immediately cut the power off. So I went around and tried to find a G GFCI extension cord. And I can buy a little short thing like this and it's around $50 or I can buy a cord that's you know 20-30 feet and that's like $150 and that's in Canadian prices 2021 so I said you know I need a length of cord and I wasn't going to pay $200 for it so this is my version of a uh, GFI extension cord and uh, all I did was go out and buy a weatherproof box and it comes with the GFI plug right there. That's what a GFI plug looks like. And uh, I got a good heavy duty cord on sale. This was the most expensive part. All of this was like $35. And then I think the cord was about $15. So um, for $50 I'm making a nice 20 foot long extension cord. GFI and that's what I'm going to use dedicated for my uh, wet tile saw so I'll plug the wet tile saw into this and then this gets plugged into a normal outlet so uh, anytime you want to work with water you want to be plugged into a GFI device so I'm going to follow uh, Rigid's um, recommendations and I'm going to build one uh, by all means if you don't feel comfortable with electrical don't do this go out and spend you know the big bucks and uh, Go buy yourself a, a GFI extension cord, but I'm a poor YouTuber, so this is what I have to do. So I'm going to show you the process. Again, just go out and get a weather tight box. There's the GFI, and you you'll know one because it's got a test and a reset on it. So that's how you know it's a GFI plug, and then extension cord. Uh, get, get yourself a good heavy duty extension cord, uh, 14 gauge, even 12 gauge, and uh, so yeah, we are going to have to cut this one end off, because this, as you can tell, it's not GFI. Uh, this little guy here is just a, a gripper, so when you plug something in there, it doesn't unplug, you got to actually grip it. So we're going to be cutting that end off. Don't cut it too short, because we might be able to use it on, say, something else. So I'm going to leave a lot of foot cable on it. So, let's get to it. I'm going to cut this off right here. Seems a shame to cut, off, to cut a new cord, but we are making this for the wet tile saw. Okay. So, we'll get one of these clamps. Screw it in. Let's get this nice and tight. There we go. That's nice and tight. That's not going to move anywhere. And of course, we got a couple other holes. This this kit comes with it, so let's fill those up. You're getting tight. Okay, let's feed this in and bring in about a good foot. Is we want to be able to connect the ground wire to this and to this. So ground wire will go to here and then yeah so let's cut back. Oh that's not quite a foot but at least a good 10 inches. And you just have to score it. Now see I want to just go to this ground cable here and then to here. So let's, looks like I've got two. Score the, a 
expose the, the copper here gently. Remove the... Yeah, that's what that'll look like. So, take your time. Don't try to nick any of the copper. Give it a good twist if you want to. Some beefing it up and let's go around that ground screw. Pull this out until it's not out. And then let's get on that ground screw. Okay, so we got that green wire grounded to the box. So let's tighten these now because we know that would be about the right. There we go, that's not going anywhere. Okay, let's cut these ends. I have a wire stripper. And twist. This is stranded wire, so you want to kind of give it a little bit of a strength or twist it upon itself. Okay, so first things first, let's get this ground on. And you put it on like this, so when you tighten it, it tightens up on itself. There we go, and you're good. Black wire on the black. Sometimes it's a bronze, B for B. Good and tight, and then let's get white one on the silver. Good and tight. Okay, let's get this fed in here. And this is the where I would hold it, so that's how I'm going to put it. Your preference is whatever you'd like to do. These longer ones are for center everything. Get that cover on. Let's get this door on. And that's where you use the short screws. There we go. Nicely installed. So let's plug her in. So there's no light on it. So what is it? Reset. I gotta hit it. Reset. There we go. Reset. And there's a green switch on it. We can plug this guy in to make sure it's all wired correctly. There we go. No red light. And to test it, you can just go there we go, cuts the power off. So we know it's working. So let's do one final test. As you can see, I got some power here. Let's make sure the outlet that it's plugged in is correct. And that is, when you got a red, that means something's reversed. So everything looks good. So let's plug my new G5 extension in here. Okay, oh, I get a green light. How do you really test a GFI ground fault protector? Well, yeah, you could physically short it out. That's dangerous. You could drop water on it, which is dangerous, but that's what it's meant to do. It detects water, it'll... But you can also get one of these. Same thing as this yellow guy, but this one has a little button called a GFI tester. So let's plug it in. I'll plug in this other one to show you. Okay, so as soon as I press the button on this GFI tester, it should kill it. Yes, and it does. So we know this is working properly, it's a, it's a good functioning outlet, and it's wired correctly. There you go. Well, why don't we go to my wet saw, plug it in, and feel a lot safer about working around water. Let's go over there. So back to my uh, wet tile saw here. This is the main cord. And it says, to reduce the risk of electrocution, always power the saw with a GFI protected outlet. And that's because there's water in here. So that's why I made this device. And uh, I feel a lot safer now. I'm plug it in. And she should work. And of course we can always test it by testing it here and see if she'll cut the power off. Yes, it does. So we know everything is working. 
So there you go. Uh, this is your cheap alternative to making a, a ground fault circuit interrupter. A lot cheaper and uh, you can put whatever length of cord on it. Just remember the uh, longer the cord, the bigger the gauge wire. But yeah, I hope this helps and uh, be safe out there. And hey, good luck with your project.